Yo, what up, fight fan? Shout out to uh, Shatterius McGruder. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Again, shout out to Shatterius Mc McGruder. Um, you got two likes. A lot of y'all got two likes. So I'm going to wind up doing more than uh, five videos because a lot of y'all was tied with two likes under y'all um, topics. So, um, yeah, his topic question was, he wanted to know my, pound for, my, my top ten pound for pound. Who I got in my top 10. So um, let's get to it. My top 10 pound for pound list. On my, now you asked me my top 10. So I'm giving you my opinion and my perspective. So um, at number 10. I would put a, I would put Amir Khan at number 10. If you ask me. I would put Amir Khan at number 10. I would put a Tyson Fury at number 9. On my pound for pound list. Because Tyson Fury did beat. He did beat Vladimir Klitschko, so you gotta you gotta give him respect for that. You gotta get a man respect. He beat Vlad. Um, at number eight, I will put I will put Canelo Alvarez, man. I have Canelo at number eight. You gotta you gotta put Canelo at number eight, man. Canelo, man, he beat Cotto, man. So yeah, you gotta get a man his respect, man. He beat Cotto. He the middleweight champion, Ring Magazine middleweight champion. So I put Canelo at number eight on my pound for pound list. At number seven. I put a uh, Gilmo Rigondeaux. The man he did beat Nonito Donaire, so I put Rigondeaux at number seven. Gotta give the man respect. He deserved to be on the pound for pound list. I put him at number seven. Um, at number six, I'm gonna put uh, man, it's, it's getting tougher now. Nah, it's getting tougher. So let's see. At number six. At number six. At number six. I will. I will put Manny Pacquiao at number six. I I believe Manny Pacquiao deserves to be at six, man. Manny Pacquiao has done a lot in the sport, man. Even though he lost to Floyd Mayweather, um, I had to fight a draw. And most have Floyd winning, though. It was a close fight. But you still, you can't take away, man, the wins Manny Pacquiao got on his resume. So I would put Pacquiao at six, man, on my pound for pound. At number five. Uh, number five. Let's see. Number five. Um... I'm going to go with Gennady Golovkin at number five on my pound for pound list. He doesn't have the best resume, but you got to look at all the fighters avoiding Gennady Golovkin, man. Like I said, Floyd didn't want to fight him. Canelo doesn't want to fight him. Well, it, it appears that way that Canelo doesn't want to fight him. Um, the list goes on and on. Miguel Cotto, Sergio Martinez. We could argue that Sergio Martinez wanted a bigger fight with Cotto, but at the end of the day, he refused to fight Gennady Golovkin. So, I'm going to put Gennady Golovkin at number five on my pound for pound list. Now, it's going to get good. Coming in at number four, um, I'm going to go with Andre Ward. I'm going to go with Andre Ward at number four. Um, I'm ranking Andre Ward above Gennady Golovkin because of the resume. Andre Ward did win the Super Six. Now, he won the Super Six, so I got to be fair. I got to put Ward at four. He won that Super Six, man. So. You gotta get you gotta give a man credit for winning that super six, man. You got I gotta give him credit for that. Hold up, as I'm at three or four. Yeah, I'm at four. Yeah, you gotta put Ward at number four, man. The resume, Carl Frotch, uh, Arthur Abraham, man. The man won the super six. So what ain't no debating that. Ward is number four, pound for pound on my list. Coming in at number three. This may shock a lot of you guys, but based on skill alone, man. Terrence Bud Crawford is number three pound for pound on my list. And fuck y'all motherfuckers that don't like it. Terrence Crawford is number three on my pound for pound list. Like I said in previous videos, and I stand by what the fuck I said. Terrence Crawford would beat anybody from 135 to 147, not including Amir Khan. And I, scan, I stand by every motherfucking word that I said. Terrence Bud Crawford would ice anybody from 135 to 147. So he's number three on my pound for pound list. Now, coming in at number two, I got to respect. I got to show respect to this man. 44 and 0, man. You don't just wake up, go to sleep, wake up, go to sleep and be 44 and 0. You got to have some motherfucking skill to be 44 and 0. And the man is 44 and 0 no matter if you guys don't like it or not. No matter what the fuck Dante say. No matter what, nobody motherfucking say in the YTBC, 
This man is 44-0, so he's number two on my pound-for-pound pound list. And that's Roman Chocolito Gonzalez, man. I got to put this man at number two. Roman Chocolito Gonzalez. And number one, I mean, it's really, it's really no argument. You can't really argue this. Even if you're not a fan of this guy, man, you can't really argue it, man. You can't argue this, man. Everybody knows he's the most dominant athlete in boxing. The most dominant fighter in boxing. So what is there to argue, man? Coming in at number one, Sergey the Crusher, Kovalev. He done beat Bernard Hopkins, man. He done beat Pascal twice, man. He knocking out every opponent, beating him with ease. And he's potentially going to fight Andre Ward later on in the year. And SOG is my boy, but I don't think he got a motherfucking chance in the world of beating Kovalev. Kovalev is the best fighter, not just pound for pound, but Kovalev is the best fighter in the whole entire world right now. The man is on another level, man. I mean, speed, power, boxing. The man don't have no, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the shit I'm looking for. But yeah, the man don't have no weak, yeah, weaknesses. Kovalev don't have not one motherfucking weakness the man got defense the man got box he can switch up and box the man got power he possessed everything in his arsenal man so coming in at number one on my top 10 pound for pound list is sergey the crusher kovalev you guys feel free to give me your top 10 pound for pound that's my top 10 the man asked me for my opinion i gave it to him um that's my top 10 pound for pound